Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you already know, I don't really do favorite videos a lot. I kind of tend to do them once every four or five months. But I figured since it's January, I might as well do a 2012 favorite. So this video is going to be products that I have used all throughout 2012 and that I absolutely love. So the first product that I'm going to mention that I have been using for almost a year now and I absolutely love it. I get compliments from this all the time and I always say what this product is and that is the Sigma F80 brush. And this is really great for just buffing in your foundation. I use this all the time and this is how I get that flawless look. This brush is absolutely amazing. This brush is around $16 at Sigma and I promise you it is absolutely worth it. I have bought another brush from Sedona Lace and it was just like this and it does not do it any justice. When I do makeup on my friends and family, I always make sure to use this brush because I would not get that flawless look without this brush. I seriously like don't know what I would do without this thing. Okay, so now that we're talking about like foundation and brushes, I might as well mention that this is my favorite foundation. I used to use MAC and I used to use, I think it was like the Studio Fix Finish, but I'm not exactly sure what it was called. But um, yeah, so I used to use it and my sister had showed me the Fit Me Foundation and I was like, well, you know, I'll try it out. So I am number 315 and this is like my holy grail. Like I love this thing. I cannot wear like foundation except this one. Like for some reason the MACs don't do justice like this foundation does. I have stopped actually using my MACs because I've been using this one and I'm actually ran out almost and I have to go buy another one. So, but this is like freaking crazy how good this stuff comes out. To be only like six dollars, it's perfect and I would definitely recommend the Fit Me Foundations to anyone. Sometimes I've heard some people complain that um, they don't have um, their foundation color, but what I would do is actually buy two that are closest to yours and mix it together. And I heard that really works great as well. So definitely think about trying these. These are amazing. I love them. Yeah, definitely great. Okay, so another item of mine that I absolutely love and I use it probably every single tutorial because they have so many colors in there that work so great for my skin tone and that is the Naked palette. This palette I've had probably, I bought it in February I think of last year and this palette I've used every time I put on makeup whether it's for a highlight and um, I don't even hit pan on any of these. I have not hit pan. Like they're all still looking kind of brand new. But yeah, so I would definitely recommend buying this. This is such an amazing palette. It can be a little pricey. $50 is a lot, but it's worth it. I mean, I've had it almost a year. I haven't had pan. I'm not nowhere near pan, so it's worth it. I travel with it all the time. And this is something that's really fast. You throw in your bag and you have all the palettes that you could use palettes, all the colors you could use for a neutral palette. So if you guys don't already know or not, well you probably can tell, I tend to bite my nails a lot, especially if I'm nervous and I just got over finals like last month and my nails have hit rock bottom. They are horrible but at the same time I'm able to find a nail polish that actually covers it up and it's amazing and this is the OPI, I think it's called, yeah, Barefoot in Barcelona and this is amazing. Like honestly, it makes you have like a nude color. I think I have black eyeliner on my nail, but you can see it from here. And um, it's really good. It's such a good nail polish. It comes out like a nude color, a nudish pink, but at the same time, it makes your nails look great even if they're nubs. So I would definitely recommend buying this. It was around, I got three for 15 I believe. So it's worth it. It's really good. Okay, so another thing that I use all the time when I apply my makeup, and that is the NYX, um... Okay, so another thing that I use all the time when I apply my makeup, and honestly, I don't know what I would do without these, and these are the NYX uh, eye pencils, the jumbo eye pencils, and I have so many colors for them, they work great. Like, honestly, let me show you. I have a black one, and this is, comes out like smoky black. Look at how black that comes out. It's like amazing. I have to do a tutorial doing a black smoky eye with that. I haven't done it yet, but honestly, this, I don't know what I would do without it. But these work so great and they make your makeup last all day long. It's definitely worth buying. They're only like, what, $3 for each one. So I would definitely get them. They're at Ulta. I think they sell them at Sears as well. So, or Nyx.com. 
So if you know me, then you know I'm obsessed with lipstick. I'm always collecting MAC lipsticks. I seriously don't even have nearly as many eyeshadows of theirs as I do as their lipsticks. But um, one lipstick that I wear probably every single time I apply my makeup if it's not for a special occasion, and that is Max Peach Stock. Now, I would show you the color, but recently SJ stuck his finger in it and ruined the lipstick, so I have to use like a lip, um, a lip pencil or whatever to put it on. I'll put a link below so you can see how it looks on me, but this looks so great. It just, it gives me that pale color that I like, like a nude color, but at the same time, it gives that peach to it so it doesn't look too pale on my skin tone. So I really like this lipstick. It's amazing, and they're, I think, $15 for each one. So I love trying out different mascaras, but um, I usually would use drugstore ones because I feel like you will not see much of a difference between the high end and the drugstore. I mean, a mascara is a mascara, but I really come to love the Colossal. I heard some people say that it'll clump their eyelashes, but for me, it really hasn't done that. And in fact, I kind of like it when it's clumpy because it gives me more volume. I think I also have a tutorial showing you guys how I do my eyelashes without false eyelashes, and I use this. So definitely check it out. It really helped my eyelashes look so much longer, and it's worth buying if you guys are thinking about getting a mascara. So now that we're done with the beauty items, I figured I'd show you a couple things that I also use um, during the year that aren't beauty related. And this is something that I have been using ever since I've had SJ, and this is the um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter. And this works so great. It I don't have stretch marks on my stomach, but I have them on my thigh. And so after I go take a shower or in the morning, I'll apply it on there. And honestly, I have seen like a reduced amount of stretch marks. Like it seems to have made them lighter for some reason. And I really love this. It definitely tightened up my skin. Like as soon as I had SJ, I would put it on my stomach and it made my stomach so much tighter. I know there's this one cream that's $50, but this cost me like I think six, seven dollars at Walmart and so much better. I love it and I would definitely buy it again. I haven't even really um, used too much of it. I still have this much left, so it's definitely worth it. I've had it for about uh, eight months and it works great. Now if you see my last haul, then you know I have to mention this. This perfume is absolutely amazing. It smells so great. It smells kind of florally, but at the same time, it's not overbearing. It's really a nice girly scent to it. This is Rihanna's, I'm gonna scratch that name up, so I'm going to put it on the thing below, but this is Rihanna's perfume. Usually when I do my hair, I really like to curl it, and honestly, I like it better curly than I like it straight, and I don't know why, it just makes me feel more girly when it's curly, and um, that sounds weird. <laughs> I've been looking around for a curling wand, and I had bought the Remington curling wand, and I put this in a haul video, I believe, a couple months ago, but yeah, so this works amazing. This is how I get all my curls now. It gives you those perfect girly curls, or the beachy curls that you're looking for, and um, I believe this is a one inch or it's the smallest one that's what I know so it works really good it was about $25 I bought this online but I know you can get it at Target as well and it works really great with my hair I have used it when I am not wearing any extensions and it still gives me these same curls. If you're looking for a curling wand, I would definitely recommend getting this. Okay guys, so that is it for my yearly favorites and let me know if you like these because I'll try to keep doing them monthly. So since summer is like five months away, I was thinking about doing like a get fit with me for um, summer. Well, I know I personally am not ready for the summer. I need to work out like crazy in order to get that beach body that I want. So definitely let me know if that sounds interesting for you guys because I know that it would help me to have like a, a buddy system so that way I know that I would be able to get fit within a certain amount of time. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.